All right, so this is a video about how to make a DIY e-bike battery. Very easy and simple. So the battery I'm gonna be showing you how to make today is this one right here. Um, it's an 18 cell battery. It's about 75 volts full charged. You can put out 200 amps uh, and uh, each, it's about eight amp hours. Uh, each one of these little cells in here is eight amp hours. And it's using the SPIM08HP cells. And I'll put a link in the description to where they get those. So the materials we're gonna um, need for this battery are um, this quarter inch threaded rod and uh, these uh, quarter inch uh, nuts. You can buy these at just Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Um, all right, so the second step is to take your threaded rod that you got. You're gonna need to cut it up into two thirds inch sections like this one here. And you can, I just use a Dremel. You can use whatever you want to do that. Um, you got to cut up um, however many cells your battery is. That's how many you got to cut up. So since I have an 18 cell battery, uh, I cut up 18 of them. And once you've done that, you can move on to the next step. So in the next step here, you take your threaded rod that you cut up and you're going to thread on three nuts on it like this and leave little gaps in between them. So later on, you can slide them on the ends like this down in here. And once you've um, cut up and put all the nuts on them, you can move on to the next step. All right, so in this step, we are going to take apart the cells and flip them around so we can put them together. Because um, as you see right now, um, they have a little, they have a little um, nub right here when you stack them so they can go together. But as you look, um, they both, this side both has the positive and positive. So if you tried hooking these together like this, um, you couldn't you couldn't do a series battery. It could only be parallel. So if you want to make a series battery, you have to take the cell and pull it apart like this. It comes apart really easy. There's a little tiny bit of glue, and you want to take the cell out and just flip it around like that. Just lay it back in there. Put the little plastic back on top. Like that and you want to do that to half of the cells um, you can leave the other half how they are and then when you put them together like this as you can see the negative will go to the positive and you can wire them in series all right so in this step uh, um, what we're going to do here is uh, take your cells and you're going to start putting them together um, i've already put together uh, mine mostly um, i got a lot of it built up already so well, you want, you're going to want to stagger them. So you see how I have the plus sign on here? It's kind of hard to see, but it's red, so that's plus. You're going to want to connect the negative side of the next one to it. So see, it's like this. You want to slide them on like this. And in the corners, there's the thread rod that they slide onto, so it makes it really easy. So you want to slide that on there. Oh, wait. Actually, first, what you want to do is um, they come with these little spacers. You're gonna to want to put these like this in between, so the battery or so the little tabs in the end don't short out. And then you're gonna to want to put these staggered, so the plus goes to the minus right here. I'm just gonna slide that on. And now you got that slid on. You can take your little threaded rods that you made and just put them right here on the end like this. They slide on and. You can just tighten these down with bolts just so they stay on there. All right, I'll tighten that later. And then you just take the next one. All right, make sure it's going on the right way. Um, before we put that on, put in a little spacer right here. All right, take your cell, slide it on, make sure it's going the right way. Slide that in there. Take your last little threaded rod, stick it on the end here to connect those two. And I just decided to make them staggered like this. Um, you can put two on each side if you want. Um, I didn't. I don't think it's necessary, but you can do what you want. And also, you can put on uh, little balance wires for your BMS. Or uh, if you're, um, I don't have a BMS BMS right now, so I just. They're just kind of duct taped to the side here. And then once you're finished, take your two little um, 
power wires here. You just connect them on like that. Put a couple bolts on the end just to get everything tightened down. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions in the comments, just ask them. Um, if you want to make like a 48 volt battery, it'd be 13 cells. This one's 72 volts. So it's 18. Um, you can make them however big you want. Uh, yeah, so yeah, well, thank you for watching.